Hi everyone, this is Colleen Halverson from Wild Hills Winery. I'm just enjoying this beautiful day on the patio. I thought I'd film out here because um, the hills are alive. It's so pretty out here. So this is our patio area. Um, it's a really nice place I think right now. A lot of people are coming to visit us on the weekends especially to sit out here and enjoy a glass of wine. Um, we're really excited. We've, we've been doing our vineyard tours. They've been going great. We've been doing tastings. We have our masks on but it's uh, it's working out you know. Um, people who've been coming in they've been really respectful so we're pretty excited to see um, this place come back to life um, what's new this week um, well we're working on our winemaking license so when you buy a winery I know everyone's like oh it's so romantic it's so exciting it's also a lot of paperwork so people are kind of wondering you know when do we get to see your new label when do we get to see your new wines they are coming we do have um, some bulk wine that um, that's just been kind of sitting around for a long time waiting for our lovely winemaker Barb to get in there and work on the wine but unfortunately um, we have to pass inspection we have to do a lot of these different things to make sure that everything's on the up and up it takes a while um, but I think it's time well spent uh, because we want to make sure that we're doing everything that we need to do and do it really well. So we're excited. We're going to be um, a lot of mowing happening uh, this week. Um, we've been, you know, we had that big storm, um, but you know, the, the grapes are doing really well. Um, they're just about to start budding, which is really interesting. And I hope next week I'll be able to show you some of those buds and maybe talk a little bit more um, about um, the grape growing process and what we've been experiencing out here. So today I'm going to be trying our Dacia um, this is our from uh, Weggy, so uh, this is one of some of our inventory that we're moving through. Um, so I know a lot of you are like, well, Midwest wines, they tend to be on the really sweet side, and we do have a lot of sweet wines. So if you're like a Moscato gal or you like the fruit wines, like we've got you covered. But a lot of people aren't sure about the dry reds. Sometimes that can be really hard to find a nice dry red in, in the Midwest. Um, I mean, if you want suggestions, I know where to find them. <laughs> um, but we actually have a really nice dry red that's really come into its own uh, this year in the bottle, and that's our Deschanak. So you might be wondering, like, why is it called Deschanak? Like, what, what is that from? Um, well, if you come to my vineyard tour, I'll tell you all about it. No, I'm just kidding. I'll tell you about it right now. Um, Deschanak, so what, would, what happened in kind of the late 19th century is that there were a bunch of, um, I don't know what else to call it, but like mad scientists, viticulturalists, I'm sorry, viniculturalists who were living in the Alsace region of France. And so they wanted to develop a grape that would be able to withstand the cold winters at the foot of the Alps. They had some connections with some uh, viticultural, viniculturalists um, in uh, French Canada, like in the Quebec, Montreal, like that area, folks that were growing grapes um, in uh, Canada, who were French, of course, because that's what French people do, wherever they go, let's grow some grapes, y'all make some wine. Um, so what they were doing in Quebec was taking this, um, these French grapes like Pinot Noir, other grapes like that, and grafting them onto what we call Vitus vinifera, which is like the wild grapevines that grow. So if you go on a hike or somewhere like that, like if you're walking along like the edge of a country road, you might see something that looks like a grapevine and you're like, huh, who grew some grapes here? We didn't. <laughs> it's wild. And so it, it's, it's wild, but it's wild. It grows wild here. Um, and so that's what happened. And so they took these native grapes um, back to France and they developed a lot of different varieties like Mary Foch and De Chinoc and Leon Malo. And De Chinoc was just one of those folks that developed this wonderful wine that we're going to taste right now. 
Um, so if you look at it, it's got a really nice dark color on it, um, some russet tones, uh, but a really nice garnet, um, some decent legs. This is a nice medium bodied red wine, so it's not too heavy for summer. Um, sometimes like I don't, like when it starts to get hot, I know I want red, but I don't, and with my like steak or on the grill or whatever, but I don't want um, anything too, too heavy. Um, it's got a lovely aroma to it. So this is oak aged, so you're gonna get some oak, but you're also gonna get some, some cherry, black currant for sure. So some really nice, a really nice nose on that. And you taste it. So one of the things that it has some medium tannins, but it's not too like, you know, it's, it's smooth, but not, it definitely has that dry fl flavor to it. The other thing that I like about our De Chinook is that it's not too acidic. So a lot of times Wisconsin reds can come out really, really acidic, and that's what makes them hard to kind of develop the sophistication uh, in those red, uh, dry reds. But this one feels, I mean, it feels pretty fancy to me. I think it's really, really nice with the, oh, I'm gonna blow away here. Um, with the oak and everything else and so it's just a really nice red so if you're looking for something for if you're grilling out some steaks maybe you're making some wood fire pizza oh our winery cat just showed up hey kitty um, this would be a really great wine to try so I hope you'll come out this weekend we're open tomorrow 12 to 5 Saturday and Sunday from 12 to 5 our patio is open if you want to hang out um, try our De Chinook you can try some other dry reds as well um, you know we have a tasting tour that we do but we're if we aren't busy we're always willing to accommodate so I hope you'll check us out in the meantime um, please subscribe um, check out our Facebook page we're also on the gram um, follow us follow us, follow us oh and we're on Yelp now did the Yelp thing so if you've been here and you like us and you like what we do we hope that you'll um, uh, throw down a review for us it really helps uh, with our visibility um, and just to direct wine lovers here or not maybe it's not for you and that's fine too because reviews help wine drinkers right and so that's why we would encourage folks to um, take part in that so thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. I hope to see you. Take care. Bye-bye.